Really quickly, I want to jump in here and let you know that this vlog is actually about a month old. I still wanted to post it because I still thought it was fun. I've just been going through some personal struggles of my own right now, trying to get back into a regular content schedule. So yeah, that's why a few of the things I say are a smidge outdated, but it, I don't think it's too bad. And yes, this is an Instagram filter because I have a shiny mask on my face. So welcome to the vlog. I hope you enjoy. Love you guys. Good morning vlog. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're having a lovely day. It's a very gloomy Thursday in LA. September 2nd. I don't, guys, there's four months left in this year. I don't even know how that's possible. I feel like we all just like collectively blacked out. 2020 maybe maybe just me I don't know it's insane four months left in the year I don't have a calendar this year because I don't know we were all in like a state of constant depression last year and kind of leading into this year so I don't even buy a calendar um, I'm literally today like looking online to just find like a free printable calendar for the rest of the year just to kind of help me plan it out better I don't know is anyone else like me you'd think that like calendars would be more like half off because you know, we can only use four more months of it. So I was like, screw that. I'm just gonna go print something online. Anyway, right now I'm just leaving Matt's and I'm headed over to Morgan and Shelby's house, actually. God, for probably one of the very last times. Um, Morgan is moving, they're, they're all moving out of their gorgeous house. Um, and Morgan's moving like sooner, I think in the next few days. And she works with Fabletics and gets all of these adorable cute workout clothes. So much that she literally can't even wear them all. So occasionally I'll go over to her house and dig through her things because we're the same size. It's great. I love it so very much. Love Morgan and Shelbs. I'm hoping to see Shelby too a little bit. She's a little frustrated with her apartment search right now, which I get. Yo, the market in LA right now is absolutely insane. I don't know. Some people are saying that the eviction moratorium is supposed to be up yesterday, September 1st, and that things are supposed to be coming back on the market. But yo, if you're looking to rent a place in LA or buy a place in LA and you want to be anywhere on the West side, it's like impossible. I don't know what the deal is. I feel like I feel like right now in September, all these leases, you know, have to be starting to go up. It's been really frustrating and I'm trying to like put out all the positive vibes for Shelby. I think she just went and like toured a place today. I'll have to catch up with her on how that went, but I thought I would vlog today. It feels good to vlog on random days middle of the week again. It's like old Lauren is um, kind of back. I feel like I have a lot to do lately and my brain hasn't really been, my brain goes up and down in being in a good place and being in a bad place. I've been in a good place the last few days. So that's why you're seeing me vlog here. Um, yeah, lots to do today. Just wanted to say hello, good morning. Comment down below and tell me how your day is today. I don't care if you're watching this a month from now, a year from now, whenever. How's your day going? I wanna know. I always read your guys' comments. I like responding back. So let me know how you're, how you're doing today as I sit in traffic. Hello, okay, I'm back in my room. I've got a meeting in 20 minutes. I just heated up a little breakfast burrito. I've got two giant bags of clothes from Morgan's house that I'm gonna have to go through. I shouldn't have taken as much stuff as I did, but I was literally about to go online and buy some workout clothes. So this just kind of worked out perfectly. I'm gonna read up on some stuff for this meeting right now that I have in 20 while I eat my little burrito. I really need to like clean my room. And now that I probably have like 30 minutes of clothes <laughs> to try on today and I have to clean out my closet and make room for it. There's a lot happening right now, but it's good. It's good. Good stuff. It is so, so much later on and I can't not. Carly, shield yourself. I open my FaceTime and this is what I see. I thought you found like a Snapchat filter. No, no, no. All oh my god, Carly, what is this thing on your lips? I have to know. I don't know. I got it on Amazon. It's like some lip thing. I'm obsessed. Okay, vlog, what's going on? Starting it a little bit later. What time is it? It's 4 o'clock on Wednesday, September 8th. That is nuts. I'm at the gas station right now. Sweating my life away. Um, I'm about to go meet Shelby and Laura at a, I think, a coffee shop lunch spot. Get some work done. Then we're gonna get some happy hour. <sighs> okay, starting the vlog in the hot car without AC was a mistake. Give me one second. 
Okay, just sitting in some lovely LA traffic. Ha, hello, um, again. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so I'm on my way to meet up with Shelby and Laura. I'm a little bit behind, but I had some stuff I had to do today. You know what, screw it, I'm not behind. I got work done, I got a vlog up today, and I'm feeling really good. Yesterday and the day before, I was not feeling so good. I was feeling very anxious. Really in my head, just couldn't stop crying yesterday. Lots of stuff, some of it's dad related, some of it's like work stress, life related. and. I don't know, I feel I, I feel like right when the stuff with my dad happened, like I was sharing, I don't know, a lot about how I'm not doing well and it's really tough what I'm going through, what my family's going through, and then I kind of stopped sharing the bad days because I don't really, I don't know, it's really hard for me to feel that, for me to want to be that vulnerable online with a bunch of strangers. I haven't done that in a while, and so yesterday I did that because I just, I don't know, I was sitting in my car, I'm so proud of myself that I forced myself to go to base camp. It was in the evening, it really was not my best workout effort, but you know what? I went in, I burned 500 calories, I, I, I maybe it helped a little bit, but essentially base camp ended at like 7.30 and I just kind of sat in my car with my seatbelt on, just like scrolling on my phone. It was a little peaceful, it made me feel better to be honest. I just wasn't really in a great spot and I felt the need to kind of just share online that I wasn't in a great spot and like everyone was just so nice. Instagram has had this new push for reels and video content which is like very annoying. It's like, hi Instagram, this is like my business and we've all learned how to do things one way and you're just suddenly changing everything. So like my engagement's really, really low, lower than it ever is for me. So I post on this story and I posted maybe like four stories yesterday, which like isn't a lot. Of course, the day that I decide to share super vulnerable things, Instagram like pushes my stories to the, I just get like a ton of engagement. It was kind of like a, oh yeah, like people watch my stories in, in like a, I don't know if what I'm saying makes any sense, but like I wasn't expecting that amount of people to respond. I think I've probably got like 60, 70 people responding, giving me advice, which is a lot like a lot and it was it felt really nice and a little scary I guess to kind of be that vulnerable online but everything that everybody had to say was so kind and it really made me feel better and I literally just went over to Matt's house and he just gave me the biggest hug and we watched Harry Potter and I played a little bit of video games and I woke up feeling so much better today so thank you if you're one of the people that wrote to me or someone in my Discord, in my Patreon that reached out, like it really means a lot. I appreciate it and I love you guys. I'm glad that I'm feeling better today because sometimes these terrible days come in like threes, which sucks and is really hard for an entrepreneur who controls her own schedule. So yeah, long story short, it was the wrong guy. No, you know what I mean? I love you guys. I'm just happy that I'm feeling happy today. Um, a little bit better. I have a flight tomorrow at 9 a.m. I have not packed. I'm headed to Atlanta. And I do need to get some work done, but I'm also very excited to have a big glass of wine with the girls at the end of our work day. So let's go park. <laughs> the parking structure just now. Totally dropped my silk mask on the ground. That was fun. <laughs> Made it to Flower Child with Shelby and Flower Child is a peace sign. It's very on brand. Of course, as soon as I get here, I told you guys I was like running behind. I sit down, Shelby goes, so I kinda wanna be done soon. <laughs> I know, and like I've gotten a good amount of work done today, but thankfully Laura's like, I have a little more work to do too, so th this is the better. I can find some more work. We'll find some work to do. <laughs> and then we'll get a big bottle of wine today. Yeah, yeah. Cheers, gals. We made it. Cheers, Alright, we just got a bottle of wine. It's called Sun Goddess, and it's orange wine. And you've had this before? <laughs> Ooh, look at that lighting. I'm obsessed. But yeah, it does look orange. Taste test. Here we go. Cheers. Clink. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay, I'm a fan. Good, right? I'm a fan. I don't I don't really like white lines all that often. And it, it's orange, so it's not even quite white. Hey, look at that. 